from the station that's on your side. This is Channel 7 News Daybreak. Welcome back. Chances are you know someone that cracks or pops their knuckles. In fact, this might be your story. We've all wondered why do people do this and does it cause harm? Joining us this morning to explain is Baptist Health's Dr. David Gerson. We're Sherwood Family Medical Center. Always a pleasure having you on. Good morning. My pleasure as well. Yes, yeah, so I am not <laughs> one of those people. It actually gives me chills when people yeah. do that. It annoys me, yeah. but nevertheless, it's very common. How many people are you finding do this? Well, I, you know, it's not something that's uh, terribly well studied, but the studies mm -hmm. that we do have show probably between 20 and 50 percent is a wide range mm -hmm. but I'd say you know walking down the street and just waiting patients walking in probably about 50 percent of people will crack a knuckle every now and then it just feels good yeah you okay know. cracking your knuckles feels good but why do people do it some people say it's a nervous habit some people say they don't even know why they do it they just do it well so, and that's exactly right it's uh -huh. typically a nervous habit okay. right you don't have to crack your knuckles there's no reason there's no physiologic uh, physical reason to crack your knuckles you know the the good news uh, probably is is that you know when you're cracking your knuckles you're probably not causing any great harm right okay. it's not causing your joints to get larger it's not causing it's not increasing your risk of arthritis there are a couple small studies that show that it might reduce after long periods of time might reduce your grip strength um, you know what I find though is that if, if patients are doing it all the time because it's painful mm -hmm. um, and it, it decreases the pain in their joints um, that that could be a sign that there's actually something a little more serious and so mm -hmm. that's probably something to talk to your doctor about the good news is is 99 times out of 100 <clears throat> it, it's it's harmless right okay. it's just a bad habit right it's sort of like you know biting your nails or picking your nose or something like that and <laughs> it and it annoys the people around you and so yes. it's something to keep in mind and maybe Mm, hold back and you know do it in the privacy of your car or your home. Got you. So yeah. the science behind it, what causes that popping noise? Because sure. you say no harm is being done, sure. but it literally sure. sounds like you're cracking bones. You're, you're not, but each each one of your joints is a sealed kind of uh, a fluid filled capsule. It's called synovial fluid, okay. and that that joint itself is kind of in its own little micro environment, and it produces uh, outgassing. So little air bubbles uh, uh, get into your joints. Mm -hmm. Those air bubbles would ordinarily on their own diffuse and absorb when you're cracking your knuckles you're popping those 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 bubbles basically you're changing the air pressure in that sealed system and so yeah it's it's a it's a physics thing but you're not causing any we don't think you're causing any significant harm okay so any tips on stopping this can you do something else besides pop your knuckles if you're nervous or you feel sure. like you just need to touch something or got to do sure, something? sure sure well I'll, I'll admit I'm, I'm one of those people you probably see me play with my hands yeah, a lot he did it so. before we came on the air so <laughs> Uh, you know, I'll use a little squeeze ball. I'll use a little grip strength, uh, uh, um, you know, exercise uh, gripper. I'll use a little, uh, uh, um, what do they call them, prayer stones. You oh. know, those little smooth stones you can get at some of the crystal shops. Um, something to keep your hands busy, right? Stress ball. Um, yeah, yeah. All right. Always a pleasure having you on, sure. Dr. Gerson. Thank you for being with us this morning. Now, you can contact Baptist Health by going to baptist-health.com or calling the Baptist Health Healthline at 1-888-BAPTIST. Checking in now with meteorologist Melinda Mayo. Melinda, yeah. are you a knuckle popper? I am not. Okay. A uh, and I think I'm in your category where I don't really like to hear it. Yes. And I don't like doing your neck either than people do. Oh, yeah, when back. they pop their neck. I always get scared, like, could you kill yourself by doing that? You Ooh. never know. Just don't do it yourself. There are doctors, you know, right. osteopaths, chiropractors. Okay. There's, sometimes there's there's a purpose to it, but uh, don't yeah. do it yourself. Yeah. Well, look, Melinda, the doctor's saying that people do it because of nerves, and traffic yeah. will pick up this morning because of the rain, so expect plenty of knuckle popping yeah. and traffic and outage in the rain this morning. That's right.